Hello, Van Rand here, and oh boy, do we have a fun one we're working on here today. I have one, yep, we're looking up at the ceiling here, I have one. And what I thought would hopefully be a relatively simple process, uh, some, hopefully, I wouldn't say easy work, because it is the ceiling, but hopefully it won't be hard work, uh, because I have this tool right here, is turning out to be an absolute nightmare, of an absolute freaking nightmare. So first off, uh, real quick, this tool, I have one, a uh, drywall sander, works really good on you know the drywall here sanding down uh, the, the mud and all that good stuff really nice should have bought that tool a long time ago and it makes it a lot lot easier um i was also told with that tool it's supposed to work really good on ceilings as well so if you got textured ceilings you can use that to sand the textured ceiling down watch if you look i mean it's not a real heavy texture see if i can get that to focus so yeah you can see how when we got it just a kind of a light texture up there i'm not necessarily actually opposed to that texture i don't mind it too much However, everyone, uh, a couple things. One, I want to fix around the lights. And if I do that, everyone, I'm going to have to like retexture or something. Otherwise, it's going to look funny if you ask me. Plus, along the corners, everyone, I'm also going to have to try to blend, you know, the new wall into the existing ceiling there. And obviously, I want to bring the mud out, you know, kind of like we got here, everyone. You know, from the corner down, it's what, about 12 inches or so. Kind of want to do the same thing with the ceiling. Bring the mud out about 12 inches. Uh, for those of you, by the way, ever think that your wall is actually flat, Depending on how it's done, I mean, it could potentially be a flat. But a lot of times, everyone, uh, with this, you know, you're just basically taking the mud, bringing it out, and making it look like it's flat. So it's not necessarily flat, right? You're, you're kind of creating an illusion there just by extending the distance of that uh, mud there. So I want to do the same thing on the ceiling. The only thing is if I do that, everyone, what I'm doing is probably going to be smooth. Unless, of course, I was to try to texture it, which I don't know. I mean, that. I suppose I went, I, I've never textured before, so I don't know what the uh, the process with that would be, but then I have to like somehow retexture what I did. So my figure now, well, we'll just uh, we'll sand the ceiling down, make the ceiling smooth. Probably looks better that way anyway, if you ask me, right? Just one slight problem on the ceiling does not sand, at least not with that sander, anyway. woman. I cannot sand it. I've tried and I've tried and I've sanded and I've sanded and uh, I've gone through several sheets of sandpaper, everyone. That sander will not touch this ceiling. It does not touch. It does not work. I mean, it will not touch it. Now you might notice we got some sanded spots up here. We'll get to that here in just a second. A long-winded intro, sorry. But so what I ended up doing, everyone, is I got my belt sander out. And maybe this is going to be a really bad idea. I don't know of one. But I started in this corner trying to belt sand. And I don't know if you can tell, everyone, but the belt sander sort of works. The only problem with the belt sander, I'm having trouble is getting it actually like smooth because you can see our spots where it's dug in a little more so i'm hoping ever once i got it belt sanded i can then maybe go back with this sander and like sand it a little bit smoother that's what i'm hoping i want i don't know that's what we're going to try so that's what we're working on in here today's video uh we're working on this uh ceiling from uh you know where everyone and uh by the way again i know long-winded and travel but for those who've seen my previous videos on this uh ceiling here uh me and the ceiling do not get along uh namely because of these lights for those who did not see the installation video on these lights, I mean, this ceiling is four effing inches thick. Yes, I went mean, four effing inches thick. Uh, they have seven layers in here. There is a layer of, um, I think it's plasterboard and then plaster. Then there's another layer of plasterboard and plaster. Then there is a layer of furring strips and then another layer of plasterboard and plaster. You add it all up, everyone you got four effing inches of ceiling in here. So when I went to put these lights in, that was fun. I mean, that, that was fun. That's, um, you folks should probably pray for me for that one because uh, that was, uh, yeah, that, that was a lot. Uh, we'll just leave it at that one. Uh, by the way, it looks like we got the same situation on the other side here too. Uh, planning on doing both rooms. We're going to try to belt sand this, sand it smooth. So I'm not sure there's going to be a whole lot to this video. It's probably just going to be uh, standing on the chair here, everyone, with a belt sander. I can only do it for like maybe a couple of minutes, then I got to stop rest a second because otherwise i'm that belt sander's heavy everyone uh trying to hold it up against the ceiling while look it's yeah this is going to be a workout everyone. this is going to be a workout so strap down stay tuned and uh let's get started
finally done belt sand in the ceiling here, I think. I went through and uh, touched up a few spots here. I'm sure there's probably a few more spots I missed yet. Uh, for obvious reasons, I mean, you can probably tell from the, uh, the two previous clips here, I did not record much of the belt sand in one. Just a very long-winded process. It actually took, uh, was it two days? Yeah, two days, I think, to uh, do this entire suit. And then not full days, of course, obviously, by the way. But, yeah, pretty much just a lot of, uh, you know, sand for as long as I can stand it. I went, let the sander back down, wait a couple minutes, sand some more again, just uh, made as much progress as I could. So we got the entire ceiling. It actually looks pretty good, I think, from what I can tell of one. Uh, I do want to sand it one more time yet. I am waiting on Amazon to deliver some more sanding pads here for this uh, sander. I'm hoping better pads that'll actually work on the ceiling here because again, those pads, they just, uh, they basically will not touch the ceiling hardly. Uh, I tested it over in that corner and then like just sanded for like an hour and just it did absolutely nothing. So I'm hoping that other sanding pads will work. Um, if not, oh well, it is going to be what it is. Might end up having to put some mud on the ceiling just to smooth it out real good. We'll see once how it goes. But with that being said, I'm thinking it's uh, it's looking pretty good here. I don't know if you can tell from the floor or not, but if we get up here and look, uh, we definitely knocked down and smoothed it out. Oh, actually there's a missing spot right there, I can tell. Um, before, when, when you ran your hand across the ceiling, well, you basically couldn't run your hand across the ceiling because it was incredibly, incredibly rough. Oh, there's another missing. That's exactly why I want to take the other sand arm and just get a few of those missing spots, hopefully. No, that one's pretty good, but yeah, that one's rough yet. Yeah, basically you couldn't even run your hand across. It was like running your hand across, uh, I, I don't know, like 30 grit sandpaper or something like that. A very, very gritty sandpaper and very, very sharp sandpaper as well. Uh, used all one belt to do this entire ceiling. The belt actually handled up pretty good. Uh, it is a 50 grit. It's that blue, that blue belt right there. One belt did the entire ceiling, so not too bad. I'm probably gonna have to get another one if I want to do the other side, though. Which, yeah, we'll probably want to do the other side. But anyway, uh, at this point, I'm gonna think I'm gonna get the uh, drywall mud out. Uh, I'm gonna mud around the outside edge here, get that smooth, and just uh, bring that and work that out. And uh, yeah, we'll see once how that goes. Like I said, I'm waiting on uh, sandy pads from Amazon, which I ordered like a week ago, and still are not here. <clears throat> Amazon Prime. By the way, you folks like my OSHA approved uh, standing chair? We got the uh, three sides up here all mudded. Now we'll have to wait for that to uh, dry here. Once it's dried, we can uh, sand that down. And I do have the uh, triangle corner attachment uh, for this as well, so I can use that for up along the ceiling there. Uh, pretty much, yeah, just waiting for that to dry and waiting on my sandpaper here at this moment so we can actually finish, well, hopefully finish sanding the ceiling. Like I said, worst case, I mean, if I can't sand it as smooth as I would like, I might end up just, you know, kind of like over here, just put like a little thin coat of mud up there just to kind of finish smoothing off but I think it'll be good I guess we'll find out plus oh yeah that's right we got to finish up around these lights here as well yeah these lights got to be a little bit of a mess when they're not cutting them out of one that's kind of what happens when you're trying to drill through four flipping inches of ceiling up there oops might have dropped a blob there uh, just my experience of it, if that happens, um, and I don't have any protection on the carpet here anywhere, uh, just no cardboard, nothing, but if this happens, just let it dry one, and usually once it's dry, it'll just pick right off. Um, if you try to get it off now, when you're going to smear it into the carpet and smear it into the cord here, and like I said, just let it dry. Once it's dried, usually it'll all come off as one big blob. 
Oh, okay, well, it looks like Amazon finally delivered my uh, sanding disc here that I ordered like <clears throat> a week ago. Also, while uh, I was waiting, I went, me and the wife went out shopping. Any guesses where we uh, went shopping to get those from? So yeah, I got some other sanding discs I can try there as well. So we're gonna see once how well these work up on the ceiling oven. I don't have high hopes for this, but we're at least gonna give it a try, see once how it uh, goes. And I'm hoping they'll last a little better than the pads I had on there. Again, I'm gonna head, I don't know where I have it here. Uh, it was like a 60 grit pad. So same as this pad here, everyone. So you know how grippy that is, 60 grit, everyone. And it basically, that ceiling tore that pad right down to this. This looks like, you know, like a 200 grit pad, everyone. So the, the ceiling, I, I wanna emphasize this, everyone. The ceiling, I think, sanded the pad down more than the pad sanded the ceiling down. Does that make sense? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put these on here. I'm going to probably try this one here first. This is 80 grit. And then, like I said, while I was out here, I found these here. This is, oops, turn the TV on. Oh, well. And this is uh, 60 grit. So if this doesn't work, I can try this one. And if neither of them work, then, oh, well. I've only sanded a small portion here so far, but uh, it seems like these sandy discs are working. I did try both of them. I tried the uh, ones I got from Amazon here first. These are the 80 grit. And just a little bit of sanding done. It's definitely uh, taking the pad down a little bit. That's a little concerning. Uh, again, 80 grit here. This is the used one. This is the new one. And I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. It's, it's definitely worn it down a little bit. It's, it's a lot smoother compared to, compared to that one. And then here's the uh, Harbor Freight, the Bauer one of one. Uh, this is 60 grit. Also, it's worn this one down a little bit already as well. But again, it's 60 grit, so it's got a little more grit to it. Uh, I tried in one spot here, where I had not already previously sanded. Actually, I think it was at this side. Yeah, this side. So that right there, everyone, is just with the uh, drywall sander. I don't know if that's picking up on camera or not. But it actually sanded that down a little bit. Again, I couldn't get up in there with a belt sander. Um, I'll have to take that uh, projector down and get around it. Somehow, somewhere, I'm not sure exactly how, but I'll have to get around that uh, some other way. But uh, yeah, looks like it's working pretty good oven, so I'm just going to uh, yeah, sand the entire ceiling here with those pads, just to uh, try to smooth it out as much as possible. The uh, little part I'm kind of concerned about I mean, is obviously these, these marks here. I don't know. Hopefully the paint will cover them, but I don't know. And kind of like the belt sander, but I can only hold this up for so long, especially after belt sanding all day yesterday with that uh, thing. Uh, my shoulders are already quite uh, sore from doing that. Uh, this one, I, I can at least hold this one up a little bit longer, but it's, it's a lot easier to hold this one up as opposed to that one. But uh, yeah, I'm going to just start sanding the ceiling. We'll see how far we get, everyone.
got the entire ceiling re-sanded here with the drywall sander and that uh, Bauer sanding pad. That seemed to go uh, pretty good. I don't know if the camera's picking this up here, Donovan. But if you look, yeah, okay, there you go. Now you can see that those black spots are probably spots I missed with the belt sander, or at least missed a little bit and didn't get quite as much. And uh, that's what the drywall sander did. For some reason, it left black marks. Now, it did seem to sand it smooth from what I can tell. When I ran my hand across that, and it is pretty smooth. Uh, just going across here, you can see a few other spots here as well. Um, another spot over here. Like I said, just uh, spots I didn't get quite as well or maybe missed with the belt sander. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch out sanding pads on the drywall sand here. We're going to go back to the 150 grit and we're going to sand around the outside edge here and get the drywall mud sanded down. And then we should be pretty much done here, I think, at least for now. Okay, but now that we've uh, done all the damage, I think we can with the uh, drywall sander here, the uh, the powered drywall sander. Now, yeah, we're going to go to the manual on that one. Uh, this also is supposed to be a dust-free one. This one actually is probably more dust-free than that one is. Like the vacuum on this one, I will actually like hold this thing to the wall. So uh, I'm going to go around and get the corners here because, again, you can't get real close here with this one. I, want, I could change out for the triangle head and get, probably get a little closer, but I figured, you know what? Close enough, good enough, and we'll just uh, finish up my hand here, just going around the uh, corner here. Shouldn't uh, take too long there, hopefully. And then I might have to get a sanding block and actually like get like the actual corner or corner. Then we'll see once how well I can get with this one. But uh, like I said, it might be one more pass after this yet. And then I think we'll finally be ready to clean up. And uh, I don't know, not sure about the ceiling. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find out.
not saying in here, at least for now. Uh, again, I want to emphasize for now, when we might have to come back here in uh, probably like a month or two and uh, finish this room up. Maybe some more sand and some more mud. I'm not entirely sure here yet. But for now, one, it is after Thanksgiving, and it is time, to, high time, I might add, to put up some Christmas decorations. So uh, now that we're all kind of done, hopefully making a big part of the mess. I mean, again, we'll probably have to come back and do some more work here later, especially like around the lights. The lights need some, uh, <clears throat> they need some help, everyone. But uh, that'll be, I might be able to work on that while Christmas decorations are up. We'll just have to be careful. Uh, other than that, and like I said, it might be till after Christmas before we work on this here again, just because I don't want to make a mess of all the Christmas decorations. want to keep them uh, clean. I don't want to have to be uh, cleaning those all off. So like I said, Evan, I think we're uh, done sanding. You know what that means, Evan. Yep, time to clean up. So I think what I'm going to do, Evan, I'm going to set the camera up and... Uh, I am just going to go through everything and vacuum everything. The TV needs to be cleaned off. Uh, by the way, for, the, for those of you wondering why the TV's open, it's, well, you can watch TV while I'm working here. So that's that's why the TV's open. I'm probably not the greatest idea, but hey, oh well. Uh, the rest of the stuff is all covered up underneath there, so hopefully it's not uh, getting dirty. sanding done floor clean furniture more or less uh, put back in the room here i do need to uh, wash the tv screen but that one i think we're pretty much uh, done here for now so with that one thanks for watching if folks have any comments or questions be sure to uh, leave them down below and as i already mentioned i mean it might be a couple of months here before we get back onto this room here again so not sure how that's going to work out yet but anyway again thanks for watching everyone until next time